Okay, so here's a quick impromptu video on how to assemble a Bruin air mix pump. So right now, this is how the pump should be laid out to air dry and paper towel. It's been washed and sanitized and all the O-rings have been removed. So this is every time you do a brush clean, this is how the pump should look before you start reassembling it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put the pump gears in. You notice they're different. One's got a triangle, one's got a circle. They can't get mixed up. So if you're forcing it, it's not going on, it means you're going around the wrong way. So the first thing we do is get the brutal lubricant and you put a bead of lubricant, like a figure of eight, just like that. Then you get your pumps. That one's got the bigger holes that goes over the bigger drive shaft. And this one's got a hole that goes right through so it can go either way and they clip in. These get replaced every three months when you do your tune-up kit. As you can see, these are nice and new and there's no play. They're nice and tight fit. They do wear down every three months, they're designed to. Once you've done that, I just use my fingers and twist them, make sure they turn nice and even, and then push the lubricant back around inside the gears. So these pumps prefer more lubricant than less lubricant. Put that down, and we get our pump seal. Put some lubricant on there, and rub it around like this. All the way around the whole thing. This is neatly inside the pump gear housing. So at this stage, that's what you have. Again, you can't get these mixed up. They only go on one side. There's no movement, there's no play. We're changing our tuna kits every three months like we should. Excess on your fingers. Because the plate goes on like this, just rub it around the top there. Just a thin layer, that's all it needs. Be careful not to block these holes. Okay. Then we grab our little spring with the top hat. This is a dry seal, so there's no lubricant on there. You push it in the spring. And we put that down there for the moment. Then we get a pickup tube and the O-ring for that. It's been taken off and washed. It sits on the top like so. There's a little spot of lubricant with my fingers and rub it around there. That one goes this way down in the pump face. So the pin at the top, the bolt at the top, and it goes in from that way. You push him right through, like that, all the way down nice and firm. And then we get our air mix regulator, put the O-rings back on. Pretty easy. Okay, and again, these ones get a little lubricant around the outside like that. That will help them last the three month cycle of the kits and get a nice tight seal. With this part, it's very important. You can see the little tiny holes at the bottom there. There's a small one, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger and bigger again. That's what controls how much air goes into your soft serve. And these holes in the bottom align with the ones at the top. So the smallest one on top is the smallest on the bottom. Biggest on top, biggest on the bottom. Pretty simple. We get our top hat, he goes up way, up ways into there like that. You grab this, I, I hold it by the pickup tube and push it down inside the pump. And you'll see here the locating pin and the little cutout. The cutout goes through the pin like that. So now it's very important, whatever size hole is facing the locating pin is what it's set for, for the air to mix ratio. So I'm gonna have it on the second smallest. There's the smallest, I'll have it on the second smallest facing the lug. So that's the, there'll be um, a good amount of air, probably 40, 50% air in the product. If you go to the smaller one, it'll be about 60 to 80% air in the product. So we put that down. Here's our feed tube, I'll pop the O-rings back on already. I'll lubricate those, like so. And then this is the tube, the O-ring straight that goes in the front of the pickup tube, also gets lubricated. Right now we'll go up to the machine and put this on the machine. So we put this part on first. So up into the machine. And this goes over the drive out drive shaft, sorry. Like so. It won't clip on because that's not lined up. You just turn this and push it. 
so it's all nice and lined and nice and flush with the back there. The seal hasn't fallen out of place. Perfect. And then we grab the pump. Face plate set on a smaller hole, second smallest hole number two, which goes in the front. And we put the bolts on. So these bolts need to be nice and tight because the Brill and Amex pump needs to be airtight sealed. If it's not tight, then there's a gap in here. The air will leak outside the gap and it won't work. So they've got to be tight. Just like that. Okay. And let's assume what you do next is pour the mix in. When the bubbles for the mix stop, you press the pump button to prime the pump, make sure it's pumping mix out. Then you put the feed tube in. So it goes in this little O-ring.